Okay, this is the Yamaha CSO1 Mark I analog synthesizer, and it's got five basic waveforms. They are triangle, sawtooth, square wave, pulse wave, and modulated pulse width or pulse width modulation. Well, I've been able to play with the, the digital tone generator chip, and what I've been able to see is that you can kind of put together a couple of different waveforms if you uh, do maybe some circuit bending or modifying techniques, and they are this. They're based pretty much off the square wave, most of them. So the first square wave sounds like this, but you can connect it such that you can get that sort of waveform, which if I expand it, gives you sort of a tilted ramp waveform that sounds like this and lower octave and even lower some pretty low bass and then another waveform that's available based off the square wave is this one and it's a sort of a skipped ramp if you will and this is the way it looks at a higher frequency let me bring the, the footage up a bit So it's kind of different than that one. And then the final waveform, which is kind of a dirty ramp square wave triangle, hard to describe, is based off the triangle wave, which remember sounds like this, kind of low tone. But if you connect it like this, you can add some sort of noise and digital noise to it, and you get a very odd looking waveform that sounds like that. It's very brash. And if you go down to the lower bass tones, get some noise in there. digital fuzz going on. So I don't want to take any responsibility if you decide to change your CSO1 to do this. Hopefully on my website I'll be able to add schematics to this, describe what actually is what I'm doing here. And again, I take no responsibility if you happen to modify it and it kills the chip. I haven't killed my chip yet, but I only found this today.